everybody and welcome. I'm excited to be back today to continue working on my explosion box using the Buzz Into Spring kit which is my collaboration kit with the wonderful Natalie from Line Dot Arrow. Um, we're almost at the end of this month actually and the end of this collaboration. Um, I have absolutely no idea where March has gone. If you know please let me know where it's ha where it's gone because I, I just feel like I've blinked and it's just disappeared. Um, so I am really really behind with my project. I'm determined to get it done so if I don't get it done in this video it'll certainly be done in the next video which will be coming out in the next couple of days because I'm just cracking on with this project now. So when I left you I had created the base and I had created the lid. I have had a little bit of an issue with the lid. I was trying to create this uh, viewfinder thing um, trying to make it look like a magnifying glass and then when it magnified in it had this B. However, because I'd added cheesecloth and other elements underneath, I think it was kind of interfering with the mechanism um, and the uh, slider parts just kept going uh, all skew if and not turning properly. So I've had to rip it off the top. I'm going to try and recreate it and see if I can rescue this lid. If not, I might have to just make another one. Um, but Thankfully, I hadn't done too much to it. I hadn't done any sewing. All I've done is put some ribbon around it. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping to recreate this and then I'll show that in my next video. Um, but, yeah, I was hoping that was going to be an amazing idea. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just didn't work quite as I wanted it to. But that's part of the process, isn't it? Um, try things out, see how they work. And if they don't, start again. So um, I have started cutting bits of papers down and I have um, started getting bits in the place that it needs to be. Um, I'm still toying with the idea of whether I want a mini box in the middle or if I'm going to have my 3D flower that I made for one of the challenges in the middle. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. I think I'll see once all these are kind of put together and I've got bits in them how bulky they are and what sort of space I have left for another box. So let me show you what I've done. So I'm going to remove that for a moment because um, it's not stuck down or anything. So we had different elements, didn't we? So if I just turn it this way uh, and show you this bit first. So the idea was that um, I was going to have some pockets on here and I used uh, this die which does a kind of stitch detail and gives you that thumb notch. So I've created those on there um, and this is one of the pages from the kit and I've just backed it onto some more of um, this scrapbook paper that I had just to make it a little bit more sturdy. I will be um, either sticking or sewing that on, I haven't decided yet. And then this opens out, I'm just trying to get all my bits of paper. This opens out and again we've got the same sort of sunflower paper on either side and the idea is, is that this is what's going to hold it closed so when that closes up the jar kind of comes across and somehow I haven't decided yet that's then going to um, hold that closed so whether I'll do like a policy closure and wrap it around uh, yeah I'm not sure yet but that's that piece so like I said I've got my pieces cut together cut around so it's just figuring out how I'm actually going to do that closure uh, on the next one so spinning it round uh, for this one again I've just kind of paper clipped everything in place so on the back of this one I'm going to have paper I haven't put anything on the back of this one because I was thinking of having maybe a pocket on the outside I'm not sure yet so this one's got paper on the back this then lifts up and this will create a pocket now because this yellow is very bright I did not all the way down but I did put some of the kit page on the inside. I also created a little hinge um, just so that um, the pocket is a bit more flexible when you're trying to put things in um, and it has been made shorter. So I'm going to have, I was thinking of putting a policy closure on this but then I thought I've got these little flowers and tags so they're going to go opposite to one another, it doesn't really matter which way round. But what I was thinking is um, putting a brad inside the tag and then having the flower at the bottom and the idea is that the tag kind of swings out then and then when it's tucked under it then holds it all closed. So that's my thinking. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So for now I'm just going to paper clip them back just so that all sort of stays together. And I'm going to paper clip this so this actually stays together because it's falling about all over the place. 
um, and then on this side or actually I'll come to that one last because that's the waterfall uh, this side um, mirrors the other side but it's not a pocket so this one opens up and then it opens up this way and then it opens up this way and again I've cut my papers aside nothing stuck down yet because I was debating whether I was sewing or not I'm still not sure if I'm going to sew or if I'm just going to stick things down uh, but they open up like that and then again I was thinking of maybe putting pockets and things in here as well so that one goes that way that one goes the other way that comes down here and again I was going to do the same thing where it's on a brad and then it just tucks under the flower to keep it closed so I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute and paper clip that again and then this side I've come to last only because it's got the most sort of going on um, so what I have done is I've cut a piece of paper to side now this was going to be my waterfall where I was using envelopes and I was thinking obviously I really like the image of the girl and if I start sticking envelopes on you kind of see all of this and it would get a bit difficult trying to cover all of this so that it kind of blends in and goes with the background so my brainwave was to cut slits in the paper so that the envelope bit slots in I can then glue it to the back and at least then when it's lifted up you can still see the lovely picture underneath that was my thinking um, so that's what I've done I've got three slits for three of the envelopes I've already as I say cut my papers to size again nothing stuck down um, with different sort of B elements on again all from the kit and then that goes that way um, so yeah so they're all ready so that's what I've done with that side um, I don't know if I want to sew on this actually it just doesn't feel like it's a project that should be sewn so I'm probably not I have inked everything again to save time so I think I'm just going to get on with sticking all of the bits down uh, so since we're here we might as well start with this so I'm just trying to think of what order I want them in now these were kind of together but I think they look odd when they're stacked together so I kind of want this one in between uh, to break it up so I'm going to start with the one at the bottom and I think I'll glue these on first now as I say I do apologize that it's taken me so long to get on with this project um, I think just with all the challenges and all the other little bits that have been going on um, yeah like I said I just have I have no idea where March has gone there's been a few birthdays so I've been doing sort of birthday cards and things like that but it just has been a crazy busy month and it's just disappeared but it's actually um, the Easter half term at the moment so that's quite nice so I've now got a little bit of time where I can get on with this and my daughter is colouring in the background so if you hear some noises in the background that's that's what it is um, I do have listed down below um, a link tree link to all of my design team um, I highly recommend that you go and check them out and also yeah. Natalie's design team because the I wouldn't even just say journals the projects that they're coming up with is absolutely amazing um, I've seen so many creative things people are doing folios some people are doing journals um, there's been a altered suitcase even um, so many amazing projects so if you're looking for some inspiration on doing something perhaps a little bit different um, then yeah absolutely go and check out the different design teams and see what they're up to because yeah it is really incredible the different things that they have created with this kit um, I mean I know I wanted to do something a little bit different I didn't want to do a journal uh, this month which is why I went with an explosion box but yeah when I started seeing some of the others I was thinking that is incredible like where do people come up with the ideas it's just really fantastic so yeah go and check them out 
just going to put these paper clips to the back so I don't lose them. They might come in handy later on. And these um, collage pages are great for small projects like this because they're collaged. It doesn't really matter too much if you're only using a small section of them. Uh, it's almost like a masterboard, isn't it? When you um, create a masterboard and then you chop it up into different sort of tags and clusters and things. That's pretty much what we're doing with these collage pages. So that's that one. Now the only thing with cutting the slits is it has obviously made the paper extremely delicate but once all these are kind of stuck to the back um, that will help sturdy it a little bit as well. So I'm just trying to make sure that it's all straight and lined up. Now they will overlap on the back, but obviously that doesn't matter on the back. Okay, and then we've got the last one. So laying that carefully down and just gluing that. Yeah, and then all of the waterfall pieces do fold up and fold down really nicely. So that's that side done. Okay, I think we'll come to these ones because we pretty much know what we're going to do with these. So we've got these tags that are going to go on there. Now I didn't want to um, necessarily cover all of this paper because I do think it's quite pretty. Um, I'm not overly keen on the green which is why um, I am going to be covering that and sticking that on there. Uh, but I'm thinking before I stick anything down um, I probably want to attach this. So I don't know whether I'm going to attach this with a brad as well. Let's see what colours we've got. Okay, so I've gathered a few different brads. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can see. Um, so I've got a couple of different green ones that I thought might be quite cute. I've got some orange ones and then I've got these kind of yellow flowers. So... Um, I'm debating whether maybe using the yellow flowers for the center of the flowers just to kind of make those pop and then using one of the others for this but I'm wondering whether I need maybe something a little bit bigger uh, for the tags so I am just going to have one more quick rummage and then I'll be back okay I've actually got these larger yellow ones which I think will work really really well so uh, let's get all of those into place so the first thing I need to do is obviously have this tag ready so I'm going to punch the holes I'm just going to grab my crocodile okay and then I'm just going to punch the hole and I'm going to do the same on the other one I might as well do it while we're here And I'm going to punch the middle of these flowers as well. Right, so... Uh, what have we got? So because that one's quite pale, I might have that with the darker flower. And then we can have these two together. So the small flower is going to go through that one. So it's going to look like that. And then we're going to have the larger one through there. So I'm just going to line this up and I'm just going to eyeball the middle. I mean, you can measure if you want to. 
that I am not. And I'm just going to draw the circle in there. And then I'm going to pop my flower on here because obviously we want it to be able to tuck under. And again, kind of going for the middle, I'm going to draw my circle on there. So I've got my two circles. Now for this one, I might have to use my larger cropper dial um, because this one's not going to reach in that far. Or I could just use my pokey tool actually, which might be a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm just going to use my pokey tool. Okay, that's that one. And that's that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop my flower in. Okay, I'm not pulling it too tight because obviously I do need to be able to get the um, tag underneath words lost me for a moment there so that's got to be able to slide underneath so I don't want it obviously too tight and then this is going to be going through here I'm just going to split that on the back again you don't want it overly tight because we do need to be able to move the tag uh, but at the same time you don't obviously want it loose so that's essentially how it's going to work okay so that slides to the side then we can then open up um, i will cover uh, this strip here but i'll do that in a moment let's open up and start sticking these papers down so again i've already done the inking i think that one looks a little bit light so let's just go around that a little bit again So that's going to go on there and then that will then cover up this, uh, which is what I wanted. So let's glue these three pieces down. Right, okay, so that's those three sections. So that one folds over there, down there, and then that one tucks in. As I said, I'll probably be adding some um, pockets and things in there, but I'll do that another time. So on the back of this one is where I'm going to have this one stuck. So I'm going to do that now as well. Okay, and while we're here on this side, I might as well come over here and glue this side on. Okay, so that's those two bits. Right, flipping it back over then. Uh, so we've done the waterfall, we've done this pocket. I'm going to move over to this one, just because this one is a little bit sort of quicker and easier to do. I'm thinking I might want to cut a notch out of there. So I'm just gonna grab my circle punch. Uh, so this is uh, one and a half inches, this one. 
I'm just going to have to turn this to the side in a moment just because it's easier to kind of pull up and then for me to see and I'm just going roughly where the middle is again you can absolutely measure if you want to I mean that's going to go there I don't think that was quite the middle was it I'm going to come in and I'm just going to snip a little bit more off on this side just to make it a little bit wider there we go Okay, so we've now got that notch in there. So I'm going to glue this pocket down. Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to glue it down because I need to pop these bits on, don't I? So again, going for the middle. Just going to pop that there. I'm going to draw my circle as I did before. Then going to bring it up my flower. And again, draw my circle. Um, then with my pokey tool, obviously minding your fingers when you're doing this, um, we had the little flower, didn't we, to go in the centre, so that's going to go in there. Okay, so this one then just needs to be split on the back. I am going to have to put some tape over this only because um, I don't want it getting caught so like when I start putting things in there. So I'm just going to use a teeny little bit of tape. You can, of course, use washi tape as well. And I'm going to press it from the other side. Just to make sure that it gets really stuck down okay so that should stop that um, and then i'm going to apply glue obviously along this flat but i am obviously going to have to do it along the bottom as well otherwise everything's just going to get stuck and fall out the bottom a little bit of glue along the bottom and glue on there So that's going to go on there. So while that's drying, before we start forcing bits in there, we can do the top. So that's where we've got this whoops, thread. Let's pop that in there. Pop that in there. And then split those. Okay, so hopefully it should do the same thing. So it just keeps that top bit closed. Excellent. Right, so that's three done. Last one. Uh, so I still need to think about how I'm going to close this. I don't know whether to do a policy closure for this or to do something uh, different. I, mean, I could use a magnet, but then that interferes with the pocket. So, yeah, I think I might... Do a policy closure. So we've got string. Okay, I think what I'm going to do actually is I am going to use the string, but I'm going to put an eyelet here and an eyelet there, have my string coming out, and then I can tie it off. And I'm going to do it that way. So I'm just going to very quickly um, go and grab some eyelets. Okay, so I've grabbed some nice green ones, so hopefully they'll look good. So let's punch our holes and set those. So I said I was going to do it in this one. Uh, I obviously don't want to do it too far near this slot so I'm going to kind of come lower and come in let's say in between those two slots. that's the bigger hole so I need to do them again that's 
Okay, then that's going to go in there. And then I want to do the same on here. So I'm just going to line it up so that I get it in roughly the same spot. So I kind of want it along this line. set those excellent then a piece of string So that's there like that. Although I'm thinking I probably want to tie that in a knot, don't I? Otherwise that's probably going to end up coming off. So let's do that instead. Just tying a little knot, just going to snip off so it's not quite so long. So that's that side. And that means that there's not so much bulk now here. So when I glue that down, it's still going to lay quite nice and flat. So I'm going to glue that down now. Uh, and there are options with this. So if you are crafting along and you're doing something similar, I could leave the top open. I'm not going to. I am just going to glue all the way around. So these are the only three pockets. Uh, so when you do this you want to glue the sides because obviously nothing can get in from where those slits are anyway so i can fully go up to where the slits are and i can do that on both sides obviously going around my eyelet there um, i'm going to do the top because I want that nice and secure. And I'm going to do the very bottom. Obviously don't go inside the pockets because then you'll stop anything from being able to sort into those pockets. So I'm just gonna move the string to one side. Center it as best I can. And then stick. Now I don't mind if glue slightly oozes out, this one does dry clear, which is really nice. But that's then that part done. Right, going to cut another length of string. Doesn't matter if it's far too long at this stage, I can trim it down in a moment. Uh, so that's that side. I can then obviously glue this here. Oops, move that out of the way. Okay, so that's that side. And then this is going to go here. But before I glue this one down, I need to glue in this flap. to do that I need to make sure it's all lined up so that's going on there about there okay 
there so that goes on there you can then open this up and I can stick that over the top and that just hides that hinge and everything else Okay, so that's that, that goes that way. Then my piece of string that I cut off, I'm gonna do the same as what I've done here. So this can come round. Just gonna create a little knot to the side. And snip this off so it's not quite so long and these two bits are what to keep it closed okay something like that and then obviously these lengths are a bit long so I'm just going to trim them down a little bit okay but there we have our four sides so let's see they all still sit up pretty nicely I do still have quite a gap in the middle so I'm thinking I might be able to get away with having maybe a little box in there I do quite like having my flower in there as well but maybe if there's another little box I can have it so that's sitting on top of the box yeah Let's have a little play. I'm just going to go and grab another one of these and see if we can make a smaller box. Right, so to create the other box, I use the double XL. So I'm thinking I do want to come a little bit smaller. So the double XL makes it's a, a four inch square box. So let's have a think. So the medium is a three inch box. So is that going to work? I think three inches might be a nice size. Let's bring this back in. Because then at least it gives me sort of half an inch all the way around then for when this gets filled and bulks out. So I might do the three inch box. So Uh, for the three inch box then, so we said medium wasn't it, I'm just going to double check that so I'm not cutting things wrong, yep yeah, so the medium is a three inch box, so for a three inch box you need a nine by nine piece of, I would say paper, but scrapbook paper, so something a bit more sturdy and then for the lid a five and a half by five and a half, so I'm just going to go and cut those to size so that we can get that made Okay, so I've cut my pieces down. So I've got a nine by nine and then I've got this one in the five and a half by five and a half. So using my explosion box scoreboard, um, I am going to score these. Now, if you are not doing these, um, I showed last time how to do these on a regular scoreboard. So because this is obviously nine by nine, you're going to then score every three inches. You'll score at three and you'll score at six rotate it score at three score at six um, so that you should end up with nine squares that's essentially what you need to end up with uh, so like I said I'm just going to use my scoreboard just because or my explosion box board rather just because this makes it super easy so obviously if you're using a full size scoreboard you could just score at um, three and six as I said obviously I can only do one score line at a time which is why I am rotating so I've got my nine pieces there uh, this is my lid the lid is just standard so the lip will always be the same which is just over an inch I think it's it was one inch and one eighth or something 
Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to again score and turn. Okay, and then again, I know it's a bit tricky to see in the light on the camera, but those are scored. So I'm just going to pop this away. I'm going to do the same as before. So I'm just going to cut out these score lines. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to do the same, cut out the score lines. Okay, and then I can fold along all these lines. Okay, and then that's just going to get folded into there for the lid. Okay, so that's the lid to the box. Uh, for this one, I am just going to fold it just because it makes it a bit easier to see where the score lines are. Okay, so now that that's done, um, I'm going to do something similar uh, to what I did with the big box, only because I'm not entirely sure yet uh, what I'm doing with each of these uh, side panels and what sort of pockets and things I'm going to make. So I'm going to cut out the score line similar to what I did on the lid and that one's going to fold over to that one. I'm going to rotate, I'm going to cut out this score line going to rotate over there. Oh, I didn't cut up the, far enough. So that's going to go over there. So that goes that way, that goes that way. Right, so the next one. Cutting up the score line. That one's going to go that way. So this is what we're doing. We're literally just cutting and folding over. And then the last one. is going over that way. Okay, so essentially this is how the box is going to go together. Now I think I will just glue this lid just so that I can actually hold it all together. Right, okay, so that is the lid. So I'm just going to pull all this together. Now, like I said, I'll sort it all out once I'm happy with it. So essentially that's how it's going together. Let's bring back the original one. So if that was to perhaps go in there, do I have enough room? 
or my flower to go on top or oh, I think I do so that will fit in nicely won't it and I've still got the room around the outside I mean obviously it will be attached I won't just let it all float in there it will be glued down that goes in there and then once I sort out the main mess that is my other lid that will obviously all fit nicely in there yeah I think I'm quite happy with that so at the moment ignore the top um, I'm debating whether to have maybe a pocket on the side here because this one's now decorated with the paper so again another little pocket here and then we've got the decoration of the paper I'm not doing anything to the bottom because obviously you don't tend to see the bottom this mess will be sorted that then whoops falls down and hopefully doesn't just flop about like that that will all then collapse you've got each of your different elements I'll have my nice flower on top of this lid and then something will happen with this one um, I might just simply make these into pockets I might just slant them off uh, so that they're angled pockets and I can put smaller different bits and pieces in there because I have already uh, gone through um, the kits and I have cut out all of the smaller elements because obviously this is on a small scale size there's no point having any of the large tags because they just don't fit in here um, I've got a little uh, slide that I made in one of my recent videos so I'm thinking that would fit nicely in one of these pockets if it was like a slanted pocket so I could put that in there um, I've got a lot of these which would obviously fit better in the larger pockets um, but yeah I just went through and I cut out all of the kind of smaller pieces I did already cut out some of my pockets so those can either go on the outside or inside some of these bits that open up as well so um, yeah I think I'm going to leave it there today because the video is getting um, a little bit long as I said it is also half term I've got my daughter hovering I think she wants feeding so um, <laughs> I'm going to go off and sort her out and uh, yeah I will be back very very soon because like I said I do want to get this done before the end of March I don't want this being a lingering project I am, I am having fun with it it's nice to kind of think of different ways that you can one create closures um, but how you can play around with different pockets and things so um, I will be back very soon uh, but I will possibly in between this video and the next video sort out my lid uh, for the main box and have these pockets already sort of cut off um, and ready to go so that the next video is just about sorting out the embellishments and the ephemera and things like that so hopefully one more video and it will all be complete well that's it from me today thank you so much for joining me um, I hope that you like the project that I'm putting together and I haven't confused you by throwing in another box um, I like how the papers look especially against these scrapbook papers um, so yeah I'm really pleased with how it's turning out thank you so much everybody I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and I will see you in the next crafty video bye for now